beautiful people it's your girl back at it again i am mary and mwangi and today i'm going to be revealing to you how can you appear in sweden like how do you go around appearing in sweden the reason why i'm going to be covering sweden as a country today is because they do not have a language requirement for you to be able to appear there why is this important? Because I usually talk about Germany and in Germany, if you don't have at least A1 level of language to A1 level of German language, then you cannot be able to appear in Germany. But in Sweden, the case is different. And the thing is, once you move to Sweden, you can be able to move to Germany at any other time because it's also a Schengen country. That means once you're doing your au pair in Sweden and you'd like to eventually move to Germany, there is a way around it. And that's why it's a country that's on my list for me to be giving you today on information how you can move here. So why am I telling you about Sweden? If you're watching this video, of course you can speak English because, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can have a beautiful accent like I have because why not? Or, uh, I don't know, but if you can understand a little bit of English or just enough English, you can be able to au pair in Sweden. Why? Because 79% of the population speaks English. So, yes, you are going to survive in Sweden if you um, speak just a little bit of English. Like I already said, you don't need to prove or you don't need to prior learn that you don't have to. I mean, you if you want to, you should. It's better. It makes your life easier. But you don't have to prove of having have learned Swedish for you to be able to move to Sweden as an au pair particularly. So what's even an au pair? Like an au pair is you look, you go online at different websites, for example, au pairworld.com or au pair.com or different agencies that uh, do the family like they do the connection between host families and au pairs and they join them and you guys get to move to their families and live with them and work for them for a short time do light housework get a little bit of pocket money accustom yourself to the country and see whether you can stay there or move into other eu countries that you may like germany for saying that for example germany I like I said I mentioned Germany a lot because the education system here is basically free. But if you want to study in other places, I mean of course, bitch should like you're welcome to do whatever the heck you want. Mine is just to help you move into a country where you have a brighter future. So I mean I'm not saying you don't have a bright future where you are, but if you want it different, then why not? Um, like I said, 79% of the people who live in Sweden speak English. So you're going to survive if you speak English. Secondly, you don't need to learn Swedish for you to be able to live in Sweden. Third, once you're working as an au pair, where do you get your host family? Like I said, au pair.com or au pair world is where you go look for family or you go and work with an agency that does the connection between au pairs and host families. So what's the next thing that's important to know? Once you're living in Sweden, you're paid about 3,500 Swedish krones, which translates to about 330, maybe 330 euro of uh, German euro, like euro, you know, <laughs> like 330 euro. Is that a lot of money? No, it is not a lot of money. Is it okay? Yes, it's absolutely enough because you are not paying for any rent, you're not paying for any health insurance or anything. You are just getting it as pocket money for you to be able to buy yourself, I don't know, soap or deodorant, like, yeah, don't smell like sweat, like, <laughs> to get yourself, like, deodorant or so on and so forth. So, yeah, you get paid about 3,500 Swedish crowns, which is about 330 euro. So what do you get working as an au pair in um, Sweden? You get four, four weeks of paid holiday, like, you get four weeks where you pay 3,500 Swedish crown and um you work about 30 hours a week like the maximum of 30 hours a week and your language course that you're supposed to have to learn swedish or whatever language you want to you don't by the way you don't actually have to learn swedish so if you're looking to move maybe to another country maybe germany or like denmark or so you can be learning other languages in your swedish language course okay so uh you're going to be getting four weeks of holiday you're working 30 hours a week and the part, the time where you're in your course counts as well as working time. So your host family pays for your language course um, to a certain amount. Of course, they pay the cheapest. I mean, why not? And uh, you get there and you learn there for like a whole year. For you to get visa, your host family has to prove to have registered you in a German... Uh, 
for German in a Swedish uh, language course. So uh, if you're applying at a, uh, at a um, agency to move to Sweden, make sure that your host family also sends you a, a, a confirmation that they've registered you at a certain German course. <coughs> Swedish course, I'm sorry. For you to be able to au pair in Sweden, it's better on this side. In Germany, you have to be at least below 26 years old, at most 26. At least in Sweden, you have to be between 18 and 30 years old. So if you missed out on Germany, you can always au pair in Sweden because the age limit is a little bit more flexible. You can au pair between 18 to 30 years of age. You do not have to learn the language. You get a put a decent pay like it doesn't really solve a lot of problems but it helps you move so which is great and uh, you also get a contract that explains your terms of working and everything you also like your contract explains how many hours you're going to be working uh, um, it also explains how much you get paid and when you get paid about your, your german course and everything so that's everything you receive from your host family. You also get a copy of a health insurance. So you get a registration to a course, you get health insurance, you get a contract that explains your terms, which means your pay and your holidays, as well as your working hours. And on your side, what you have to provide for you to be able to get um, a host family, you need to have a passport. You need to have, of course, you need to have a passport. I mean, what? Yeah, so you have, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you have a passport and you have to be ready to pay an application fee of about 1500 uh, Swedish Kron. If I do my math correctly, that's about 130 euro, which is about, yeah, if you're Kenyan, that's about 15,000 Kenyan shillings. You have to be ready to be able to pay for this um, application fee for your whole uh, visa application process. Um, yeah. You also need a health insurance to travel. You have to check, like, however you decide to travel, if you choose to travel, whichever airline you want to travel, make sure that you check whether you need to have a travel insurance as well. And the application process for this uh, operating in Sweden is online. You don't really have to go to an embassy and do an appointment and I don't know, defend yourself or anything. The application is free and online. You can find that website on this Swedish immigration um, website. You book the appointment, you submit your documents and that's they go ahead and process your papers and they tell you whether or not you get visa. So if you ask me, this is relatively easy. And if you ever want to stay in Sweden after your au pair, I personally don't know how you can do that. But I know that if you ever want to move out of Sweden and go into any other EU country of the Schengen countries, then you are allowed. You can do that. So if this is an opportunity you've been waiting to hear, then grab it and let's go. Bye. Ah, sorry. If you have any other questions, Make sure you drop them down in the comment section below. I am going to be responding to you. Well, I am also going to deepen my research because this is not really my area of specialty. But um, if you have any questions, drop them on the comment section below. We are going to work on it together.